Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video of Radicad uh, YouTube videos, I want to talk about uh, Copilot in warehousing experience in Microsoft Fabric. How does it work? With some examples of using it. Let's go and check it out and see how this is working. So to use the Copilot feature in Microsoft Fabric, one of the first thing uh, prerequisite is that you should have a license that uh, works for uh, Copilot, which is basically F64 or higher, P1 or higher. These licenses are only supporting Copilot. It is not supported in the um, trial version as well. It is not supported in PPU, so you need one of those. In addition to that, you need the admin, uh, tenant, tenant admin of your organization to have enabled this. This is by default enabled, but if uh, a tenant admin went and specifically disabled that in the tenant settings under admin portal, uh, if these settings are disabled, then you cannot use it. So this has to be enabled as well. So once these are enabled and you are ready to use it, then the situation to use it would be like this. You will go to a warehouse, so inside a warehouse. Uh, so here in this example, I have a warehouse that I'm going to open it. Um, in my warehouse, uh, as you can see here, when I open the warehouse, I would uh, see the SQL Analytics endpoint, which is showing me the tables and the queries, which is loading slowly. Uh, so it shows me the tables and queries. What I'm going to do is to remove this table because I want to show you how this can be something like this can be generated using uh, using Copilot as well. So I'll drop that table um, and then yeah, just let's run this. Dropping the table, that table is gone. Closing this, discard the change in the query. Okay, here it is. Now to start using the Copilot experience here, I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see that experience better. So we see this Copilot uh, option in here, enabling zooming so that you can see this better. Uh, so this is the Copilot, as you see. I can go basically and um, and click on it. The first time I uh, want to use it, it comes up with this side window showing some information about what are the things I can do in this environment. So things such as creating a table, asking generic questions. For example, I can ask things such as um, what is the different role of a security configuration you can apply in a warehouse. Or I can ask a specific thing about creating a table or things like that. Now I have some scripts or prompts that I have previously prepared, which I'm going to just use any of those in this case. Some of those prompts. So uh, here is a prompt that I have uh, prepared previously. So when I come here and paste this, so what it is saying is that <clears throat> it is saying that create a date table using TSQL uh, that includes columns for year, month, week, weekday, weekends, half year, start of the year, start of the month for the period of 20 years. Uh, so if I ask a question like this, what is happening is that this will generate a SQL code for me and it will bring that SQL code inside this, uh, this let's say, SQL editor of the warehouse. Um, and apparently this creates quite a good SQL code actually. As, as you see here, this is the SQL code generated automatically, which first generates a loop of the past 20 years based on the current year. It also shows step by step what is done here. Uh, it adds those columns that I asked uh, based on some formulas and that's it. Then I can run this query and get the date table generated just as simple as that. Now I'm not going to run this query for now, but this is how it is um, generating and this query works perfectly fine without any problems. So that is one experience to use this side table. Another experience is that you can use it in line within your query. So if I go ahead and create a new SQL query, uh, in this new SQL query, as you can see here, it gives me uh, this information that start writing your SQL code and Copilot would suggest um, some uh, uh, some information about your code and, and what how you can complete it. So it auto complete your code. So I can ask things such as, for example, select star from geography uh, or probably weather 
join geography. So I can start typing things like that on and then I don't really know what are the fields to join these together. And as you see, this actually generates this piece of code. So I wrote this piece uh, and this is the piece that it generated. So based on the data in my tables, based on the column names it understands, based on some of the relationships as well, it understands that these are the columns that can be used for creating this. So I can uh, click on tab and basically accept this change or you can continue by writing more. And when I run this, this would basically run uh, simply fine. Now in this case, I think the weather is lowercase. Yep, so I have to change that to be uppercase. That is one of the things and the rest should be all fine. Now I could ask Copilot to fix it as well. Um, same for the geography. I could ask Copilot to fix it, but for now I just want to show you that this is basically producing that information. So run this and this would run perfectly fine. Now the other example I want to show you is that let's say if I have a code that caused some issues and I want to show you how this would fix those issues. Um, like example that I had here was a simple one, but I'll show you another example which is not that simple and we'll see how that piece of work works. So I have this SQL script, which I will bring here, deleting this, I would paste it here. So here you can see this is my SQL script. Uh, so basically it has uh, some information such as, for example, select the top 10 row number and um, all the columns from geography, uh, joining geography um, based on geography ID with the weather. Uh, but it has some errors. So if I select this code and run this, I would get an error. Uh, there are two places that it has error. One is the criteria here, another is the use of row number. Here I can ask this to fix it using this option. And if I use that fix option, what is going to happen is that it is going to fix both of those errors for me. First, it fixed the way that I used the row number function with the over, order by, uh, it added the table names, proper table name with the full name of warehouse, the schema and the table, the alias for that, and then the join specification. And it also explained that what are the fixes uh, applied in here. Right now, if I run this query, it would just run perfectly fine. So it can help me to fix the errors. Not only those, it also helps me whenever I want to write a query um, like from scratch or even explain it. Now, let's say this is the code and I don't have these auto fixes. This is the code. Now, I want to understand what this code is doing. This is specifically helpful for situations that uh, you have given a code a big um, SQL script that you have no idea what it is going on. So you will basically just select that and would say explain. And what it does, it adds some information at the top of this. Let me minimize this bit a little bit. So it adds some information on top of it, like for example, what this query does. It formats your query, as you can see, quite beautifully formatted. And it also adds inline explanation of what it is going, uh, what it is happening. So it's a beautiful way of documenting your code plus understanding what it is going there. Uh, the last bit I want to show you is um, to use this to write a query from scratch. So I can, for example, ask something like this. I can say, select city and count country um, <coughs> and their weather information, right? So basically I'm just asking a normal English question. This would cause um, Copilot to analyze my question and come up with a suggested query. Here you see the suggested query, so it understand that city and country are from geography table. Uh, and it also gives me some temperature and precipitation information from the weather, joins them together and creates that query for me, which if I can, if I press tab, this would basically accept that, then I can remove this and run my query. Uh, so back in the, uh, back in the what is available in Copilot in Microsoft Fabric, data warehousing use of um, Copilot is really helpful, especially for SQL developers. It helps us to, uh, to speed up our development process, to fix our errors, to uh, have some documentation, 
to help us write some of the manual things that we have to do uh, in our script. So it speed up the process. But it is always important that you remember that this is co-pilot, not the actual pilot. So you still have to drive the whole experience. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. Until the next video, bye. Thank you.